just a few hours away from the Veterans Day Parade right here in New York City to honor our nation's heroes. Peter Johnson Jr. is live at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Plaza here in New York City, and he is joined by the Grand Marshal of the Veterans Day Parade, former NYPD Commissioner Ray Kelly, who served in the Marines during the Vietnam War, and his wife Veronica Kelly, who served in the U.S. Coast Guard Reserves. Peter. Hey, Kimberly, good morning. Good morning, friends. What an exciting day to be here with uh, Ray and Veronica Kelly, two great American veterans of our 20 million. We're at the Vietnam Memorial, uh, remembering uh, the veterans of, of Vietnam. Ray, Veronica, Colonel, Chief Petty Officer, good morning to both of you. Good morning. Great to be with you, Peter. Uh, uh, Grand Marshal of the Veterans Day Parade in New York City. Tell me what you're feeling about that, Ray. It's pretty cool. It's... Uh, a great honor, obviously, we believe this to be the greatest city in the world, and to be the Grand Marshal of this parade means so much to me and certainly to our family. And you served as a first lieutenant with the Marines in the 1960s in Vietnam, did great service, went on to become a colonel in the reserves. Veronica uh, named a chief petty officer after 10 years in the Coast Guard Reserve. What does your service mean, uh, uh, Mrs. Kelly? And uh, what can we take away from that as Americans? Well, it was a great opportunity for me, most unusual, because I was the first woman with dependents brought into the Coast Guard Reserve. So I was married with two little boys, and I think every American should have some degree of service, whether it's community service or military service. It's just a life-changing experience. It's good for the individual, and I think it's good for the country. And you pass that service on to Greg Kelly, who's one of the great anchors, uh, leading anchor at Fox here Yay. in New York City. Yay. You're going to be on his show in New York this morning. True. He's hosting the parade. So it's a family affair. In terms of being a, a family affair, um, you served in Vietnam. That was a tough time. Your wife was pregnant. Um, what do you tell uh, people in the service today about that kind of service and about the sacrifice? Well, everyone makes a sacrifice, regardless of when you're in. Obviously, there are opportunities that you miss. I think young people today going into the service uh, have great opportunities, but they still need jobs when they get out. They need health care. Uh, they need educational benefits. They need safe housing. So there's a whole gamut of things that I still think we have to provide for our veterans. And, of course, we have to fix the Veterans Administration. And as a final question, Veronica, Besides saying thank you for your service, and we do, and we thank all our friends out there, what can we do to thank our veterans for their service in a tangible way? How do we help them? Well, uh, you know, that's a big question, and I think Ray addressed it in many ways just now. But it kind of reminds me of Mother's Day. You know, we make a big deal out of Mothers on Mother's Day and a big deal and out of Vets today, right? on, on Veterans Day, but it's every day to be showing kindness and respect. Ray and Veronica Kelly, great veterans here at the Vietnam Plaza. Happy Veterans Day. Happy Back Veterans to you guys. Day. Hi. Thank you, Peter. Thank what a family. Thank you, Peter. Yes.